Okay, let's do Denial, which uh, you've seen as well, and obviously is particularly relevant uh, at the moment. So, uh, written by screenwriter David Hare, um, adaptation of Deborah Lipstadt's book, History on Trial, My Day in Court with a Holocaust Denier. Um, basically, this is the story of the court case that David Irving brought uh, against uh, Deborah Lipstadt, who had accused him, uh, quite rightly, of being a Holocaust denier. She is played by Rachel Weiss. Tim Spall plays Irving. And uh, what happens is that Irving turns up at one of her uh, her lectures and uh, berates her, says, you know, I, I, I am this person, you have wronged me, and then takes a, a legal case against her, saying that she has, uh, you know, that, that, she, that she is in the wrong. She then has to either fight it or back down and settle. She doesn't want to settle, neither indeed do the publishers, so it goes to court. But the lawyers, one of whom is played by Tom Wilkinson, say to her, that's fine, we'll go to court, but you're not going to testify. We don't believe you should testify. Why? B because you don't trust me? No, no, not at all. You think I'm going to get emotional? Well, I, after today... Richard, we were at Auschwitz. Let me remind you that I teach, I lecture, I talk to the press. I know. I order ideas. It's what I do. It's what I'm good at. You, 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 you don't need to protect me. No, we're not, we're not protecting you. We're protecting our case. Our strategy is to keep the focus on Irving and Irving alone. It's not a test of your credibility, it's a test of his. You don't think I'm good enough? No, 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 I didn't say that at all. Everything you have to say, you've said in your book. Our task is to starve Irving, and putting you in a witness box would feed him. This case is happening to you, but it's not about you. This man hates me. He's coming for me. And when someone comes after you, you, you take him on. Now, um, sometimes we talk about movies uh, uh, in this program, and uh, particularly with true stories, you talk about the ending, and people say it's a plot spoiler. I'm sorry, I'm going to talk about the ending because I believe that everybody knows. If you don't know, and you don't want to know how this story plays out, then, you know, you can skip over. So anyway, what happened, of course, was this thing went to court. And, I mean, you and I will remember this. And um, the judgment was quite extraordinary. Uh, it, f it found that Irving was, an, quote, an active Holocaust denier, an anti-Semitic and racist, that he associated with right-wing extremists who prom promote neo-Nazism, and more importantly, that he had, for his own ideological reasons, persistently and deliberately misrepresented and manipulated historical evidence. Because, the fact of the matter is, he was denying something that happened. And I know that we very much live in a world in which people are talking about post-truth and all the rest of it, but one of the things about this story is it's about somebody who refused to debate with Holocaust deniers because she thought quite rightly that we know that these things happen, we know this event happened, and, I, you know, and that's the beginning and end of it. What the story then becomes is about why that story is important. I mean, the legal action as in the drama, she has to keep reminding the media. They keep saying, why did you... I didn't bring this case. This case was brought by him. We were defending the case. And what the lawyers are doing is saying, it, we're not defending... You know, if this isn't to do with, you know, with you and with Holocaust survivors. This is to do with him. This is to do with him. And people talk about, the well, you know, it's a freedom of speech case. You know, freedom of speech being that he tried to stop her saying that he was, uh, you know, he was a false historian and he was d deliberately misrepresenting events. So two questions come. Firstly, um, is it a good drama? Yes, it is. I mean, it sticks very, very closely to the facts. I know you've seen it as well. If anybody's seen the Newsnight special, which happened immediately after the case, you'll know just how closely this stuck to exactly how the case played out. Why is the story important? Because, unbelievably, we find ourselves at a time in which it is it necessary to constantly restate things that we know to be true and to constantly repeat history that we know to be true and to remind people that the chiseling away of history that we know to be true is still an active and ongoing uh, debate. So I think the film is relevant. I think it is not a piece of stuffy history. And it, you know, I think it is absolutely relevant and it is relevant because it is, it is to do with certain core principles that are absolutely incontrovertible. Is it a good drama? Well, yes, it is, not least because it has some terrific performances in it. I mean, Tom Wilkinson is great because actually at first when you when you meet him, you think that the fact that he's saying you can't testify and you cannot bring witness, witnesses in, you know, who want to testify because it's not to do with question. If you do that, you will make it about their experience and it's not to do with that. And actually during the course of the drama, you start to realise that 
the, he's right that, that that that's not what it's to do with. There is an extraordinary performance by Timothy Spall as um, the odious uh, Irving, um, who. I mean, you know, you've talked to uh, to Tim Spall. Yeah, he was he was on my Radio Two show this week. And it's that difficult thing about playing a character. You know, I mean, obviously, in order to play a character, you have to find some way of getting inside them. Getting, you know, you can't just play them as utterly two dimensional. Well, he, he said it was it's a difficult movie for him to promote. Okay. Because, for precisely that point. And what I think, I mean, I think his performance is brilliant. I mean, I just, uh, to be honest with you, I could watch Tim Spall in absolutely anything anyway. But I think he is really, really good in this. And I think that what it did was it brought, you know. It, brought that uh, that story which which is abs- it's not a story about whether the holocaust happened or not it is a story about how uh, you know Irving attempted to uh, to shut down people saying that what he was saying was you know was wrong uh, and it's also a story about the way in which sometimes you just have to be restrained you have to be about standing up for what you believe in about you know absolutely not backing down because you're f- frightened or bullied and the other thing that's important is this: um, when the movie was uh, was previewing, I said to my kids, "Do you want to see this film?" And they said, "What? What is it?" I said, "It's a film about the David Irving trial." And they said, "Who's David Irving?" And I thought, "Brilliant, brilliant! He has been consigned to the dustbin." I mean, I know the the, mm-hmm. the thing, but how great that that is not a name that everyone knows. And congratulations to Timothy Spall for playing that character and uh, doing it as well as he does. And I think the movie is in and, and making him three dimensional. He doesn't make him like a two-dimensional two, two monster or anything, and that's, that, that, that's the whole point. 